Okay, welcome back everyone and we are looking at bitcoin once again so before i do get into the video if you guys could leave like comment sub all that fun stuff really helps the channel grow I really do appreciate it and it's like giving me a fist bump anyway getting into this uh what are we looking at here so this isn't the chart that we have been looking at for the last little bit however um this was the other chart that we have been looking at for months now at this point um excuse me so the general gist of this is you can see uh we are on the monthly time frame and well this monthly candle looks terrible for may uh down a total of 10 percent as of right now but uh i would consider that more of like a doji candle and then this is clearly engulfing this other candle which is bearish so uh coming back down should we end up breaking down lower right now seems likely could it end up being something like this candle yes it very well could but that means we'd have to get a nice little 10 percent pump uh, and then going over to the weekly 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 doesn't look necessarily as bad because what we can do right here is uh well actually before i do even need to that uh there's nothing really take note of on the weekly you're kind of at like a no man's land point uh you're either going to reverse here and start pushing back on up or you're gonna drop down it's very binary i don't see it chopping around here much longer but however i could be wrong but uh switching back over into the daily really quickly uh if we do switch over to the this chart just to show you guys um if it would like to load that'd be so cool so what you can see here is you potentially actually do have like a falling wedge uh or just whatever you want to call it um better way to see this is if we do actually invert this so um this is like your wedge formation so if you're looking at this in the sense of something like that then you'd obviously be falling back on towards the downside if this were to be like a rising wedge and while we do have the chart inverted so that would then be inducing that we do end up pushing back on up uh which this doesn't necessarily look really that bad to be quite honest uh even if we do drop lower from here uh i still would ultimately be looking for this like low 25 to 24k area where we have been looking on our Binance chart. Which, if this would like the load, that would be wonderful. <laughs> um, please enjoy the music as we get all this to load. Um, all right, so right now, we are now on the four hour with the linear chart as you guys can see we had this rising wedge right here the measure move for it depending on they would differ a little bit you'd be looking at these first two lines after these first two lines we did have one more for potentially say an ascending triangle that gets you around to 24 but uh i am at the very least looking for this area right here which is between 25.3 and 24.9 uh the last thing that i do want to talk about because i know i've talked about this a lot is i do just want to show you guys in reference or show you guys where this like measured target is roughly if i can get it where i want it just to have like a better idea of this i do think would be beneficial um just like this then we're going to do that and then let's even just go on the weekly if we were able to zoom in right here i really don't know why it's being so slow and laggy uh this is it's acting strange it's not normally that bad all right but you can see right here this is the targeting area 
so you do have like the valley highs for this general range right here uh you do have these wick highs from last summer uh you have these wick highs from february and well you'd be essentially just back testing this area should you go end up lower for this measure move that gets you really at these lower um pretty much the same candles but instead of just tagging the wicks you'd be tagging the candle bodies so this would fall in line with the like overall analysis of this but um other than that though i don't have really too much else to say um everything has been really just chopping around here so um <clears throat> yeah um i'm leaning still more towards the downside you might find a bounce if you end up finding a bounce coming up um i would kind of be looking at just to be sure these were tagging right there around 26.9 to 27k is where i think you'd probably end up getting rejected if you do find a small bounce um so roughly right around here if you come up you get like a swing failure and then you end up breaking down um and then if that were to actually happen then what you could also make the argument for here too is that you would have a uh like falling wedge forming so you tag this area and then have a uh, reversal but that is really about it so uh bitcoin i guess is at like a neutral zone um there's really not too much else to say it's kind of just been doing a lot of chop uh even though we identified the general parameters of this like quite a while ago um just been chopping around so other than that none of this is financial advice these are all just my thoughts and opinions and you guys have a phenomenal day as always adios muchachos